10 years ago, I started my pre-med journey as a freshman at UCLA. Today, I'm a doctor, an anesthesiology resident in New York City. I also help thousands of pre-meds get into their dream med schools. I'm going to share 10 brutal truths, one for each year since I started my pre-med journey. This is exactly what I wish I knew when I was a pre-med. Brutally honest truth number one, fuck being average. Statistically speaking, the average pre-med has a 3.64 GPA and a 506 MCAT. They spend 343 hours volunteering at a hospital, spend one Saturday every six months at the local soup kitchen, and complain weekly that they can't get any research or shadowing. <laughs> On average, they apply to 25 schools and get into zero. So yeah, fuck being average. And the best way to get a sense of what above average is, is to look at real successful applications. In the description, I've linked eight full applications that have gotten into some of the best medical schools in the country. It's forever free and includes my own UCLA application. Brutally honest truth number two, what doctor do you want caring for your mother? I want my mom to be taken care of by a doctor who takes schooling seriously, who dedicates his time to the community and is dang good at it and is well rested with a well balanced life. I don't want the cutthroat surgeon who has slept three hours anywhere near my mother. Be the doctor you want your mom to have. Brutally honest truth number three, passion comes second. You don't wait until you find something you love to start doing. Nothing will fall out of the sky straight into your arms. You do the thing and you do it damn well. Then you figure out if it matters as much as you thought it would. If it does and you love it, you build your application around it. That's what happened with me and teaching and mentorship. And 10 years later, I'm still teaching through videos like this one. Action first, passion second. And how would you know that if you were a pre-med just starting out? You wouldn't. But it's these lessons that separate pre-meds who become doctors from those who do not. And if you're applying to medical school in the coming year or two, you do not want to make the wrong decisions. Our pre-med Catalyst students that submit their applications on time have a 92% acceptance rate. That's more than double the national average. Our results are because we work so closely with the four students we take on every month. Click the application cycle advising link to book a free strategy call before we can't take on any more students. Brutally honest truth number four, Confucius never said he was wise. The most competitive pre-meds I've ever met never told me their grades or their extracurriculars. I just read about it when the neuroscience counselor sent us all an email celebrating his recent publication in Cell. On the other end, the pre-meds that were most vocal about their A pluses on the Gen Chem final and their 80% plus U World blocks for the MCAT, they never got into med school. Don't say it, be it. Brutally honest truth number five, this is what hard feels like. Getting into med school is hard, it should be. You're training to be responsible for real lives. And by getting into med school, you basically guarantee you'll make more money than 95% of the entire country. The late nights of studying, the insecurity when you see rejection after rejection in your email inbox, the impossibly heavy imposter syndrome. That is what hard really feels like. You're doing everything right, don't stop. The journey is supposed to feel alienating and confusing. And if you think having someone by your side guiding you every single step of the way would be helpful, it would be an honor to support you. We only take four students per month. Click the application cycle advising link in the description box below now. Brutally honest truth number six, choose your hard. You wake up early to get into lab. You're also taking 16 units. After the problem sets and the essay you have to draft and the 8 p.m. club meeting on campus, it's impossibly hard to start drafting emails to ask physicians for shadowing. And when you send 100 emails, it sucks to get zero responses. It's also hard to apply to 30 med schools and get zero acceptances because your app sucked. Everything is hard. The beautiful thing is that you get to choose your hard. Brutally honest truth number seven, I am. The words that follow I am are a self-confining prison. I am not athletic. I am generic, not good enough. I will never be better than him or her. 
These are all things I've said about myself. And if you are the same, you will find ways to validate these unhealthy identities. So be careful how you define yourself. Brutally honest truth number eight. You can't make a baby in one month. A term pregnancy takes nine months. You can't speed it up. You can't make a baby in one month by getting nine women pregnant. Some things just take time. Personally, that's your health and relationships. Professionally, think about research and your community health fairs. You can't lose 10 pounds overnight, and you can't sign up 300 undocumented immigrants with health insurance in one week. These things are frustrating because they are slow. But if you start building them early and you don't stop, you will have an incredible life, an incredible application. The most impactful things just take time. Really honest truth number nine, the power follows the finger. I didn't get an A. The professor's curve is so unfair. I can't get clinical experiences. I don't have any doctors in the family like she does. When you blame someone else for your problems, you give them the power over your circumstance. They have complete ownership over your happiness and your well-being. Instead, take full responsibility for all of the pain in your life. Even if it's unfair, at the very least, you now have the control to do something about it. Brutally honest truth number 10. Pre-med advice is like clothing. Try it. If it doesn't fit, throw it out and try something else. And like clothing, bad advice is seasonal. It's trendy. Crisis hotlines, for example, have come and they have gone. That advice got useless really quickly. The best advice lasts you a lifetime. Those were the 10 brutal truths from the 10 years since I started my pre-med journey. It's helped me and thousands of other pre-meds get into their dream med schools. Now that you know these, you'll want to hear from real adcoms who have accepted and rejected pre-meds over the last 40 years. Their brutal truths are here. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.